Yeah. Brownness. Yay. Sound effect. Editing. Boo. So, I am not like Duke. I don't just play like certain series. And that's no offense to you. You're more of a dedicated I take that fan. Defense, Blake. This is Let's Play War. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I, I'm just going to play whatever. Like, it's probably going to be for. Probably a Magic the Gathering episode, because I'm single, so... Yeah. I have that game. Only singles do. Except my boss. He has it, and he's married. Jerk. <laughs> jerk. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, he's never gonna hear this. What if he does? Besides, he doesn't... How, how do he you doesn't know if he doesn't? He doesn't pay me anyways. Well, how do you doesn't know matter. if he uh, if he's gonna hear this or not? I don't know. He doesn't know I do this. He doesn't. Why didn't you uh, post the poster onto the little wall, or did you not print that out? Uh, yet? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't print. Yeah, I didn't print it. But well, if he asks you, just be like. Don't I'm worry, sorry. Uh, just, if he asks you and he ever sees this video, just be like, I was joking. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, if you hear this, I'm sorry, <laughs> Terry, his name's not Terry. I know, it's Carrie. Ah, it's, you see what I did there. It's actually a really common name, so it's not like somebody's going to find him. It's Steve. That's all I'm saying. Minecraft? Steve? It's. He's the Steve from Minecraft? Minecraft. No, oh, he's not. I almost died from fall damage. Stupid shift click. Oh no! Oh, I have half a heart left. Oh, God. Oh, well, it's a good thing I have food. I almost died with all of the leather. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing let's plays. Maybe they'll have a theme to them. I don't know. I'm too lazy. I don't think there will be. Kidacarus. What do you think about? What about? I'm just starting a random conversation, so it won't get too boring. I like the original. You like the original better? I haven't played any of the new ones. I've only played the original one. Oh, um, I've seen Uprising. It looks somewhat uh, pretty good. I mean, it's good that they brought it back. Well, I mean, for, for Nintendo fans. True. True. I'm not really... You're not a I, Nintendo fan? I am a Nintendo fan. I just don't own a Wii. Yep. I own a classic NES and a Super NES, though. That counts. Seems legit. Yep, that's my gamer skills. I got gamer creds. Okie dokie, I just made a book in Quill. I shall now document our survival building. <laughs> Somebody finds it a hundred years later, just burns it. Who needs this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> what episode you... is this again? I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say day three since we built this building, even though I believe it was day five. Our tower. I, is I just star on them. I don't name them. Hey, did you see the uh, Deadpool thing at uh, Comic Con? Deadpool. Yeah, like they had a guy dressed up as Deadpool come up on stage. Uh. Oh. Okay. I don't even know who that is. 
Um, you want me to tell you? Deadpool is a um, character in the Marvel Universe um, who was poor, like they messed up his backstory in X-Men Origins Wolverine, the dude with no mouth. That was supposed to be Deadpool. But, yes, yeah, I, I actually don't know, but Deadpool in the comics is like kind of a trained assassin type of guy who's like also, like, he, his wisecracks are just some of the best Better ever. Than, uh, yeah, yeah. Cheesy jokes? No, these are actually legitimately funny. Oh, they're not cheesy in any way possible? Uh, well, maybe a couple of them, but yeah. So, he's kind of got like this, it's like his, like, like color palette, like, would you say, like, is like red and black. So he has like, this whole costume is centered around those two colors. And, um, yeah, um, the first issue of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe just came out Wednesday, but, um, basically... They had a dude dressed up as him, like come up on stage, like they, the, like the, they're making a game of his, but like only the producers at the panel knew he was coming up. Everybody else in the crowd just thought he was like an estranged fan dressed up as Deadpool. Um, so he like comes up on stage and basically like, um, he like just starts like talking, and I think it was the voice of uh, Ask a Ninja, that dude. Like, he came up on stage, and, um, he just made a lot of great jokes. But if you listen to the panel, parental warning, advisory, there is some swearing. But... It's swearing. Say anything sexual in it? No. However, we are being exposed um, to a younger generation, which is being somewhat spoiled. What do you mean spoiled? Well, I'm not talking about our generation. I'm talking about, like, you know, anybody lower. I'm, you I mean, mean like, babies? No, not... Babies can't talk, silly Blake. <laughs> can they? Maybe. But they can! I'm strolling off. On you, Duke. I'm sorry, Duke. Oh, it's okay, Duke. I forgive you. We're both <laughs> Duke. Duke! <laughs> see, see, see. Hold on, I'm coming down. Just let me not die. I need to place these ladders. Okay. I'm coming down. I'm sleeping with my sword, sword. Got what I was saying now. But, um, what did, you, what did you mean by like a spoiled generation? Which one? Well, the one before us? I mean, like, let me somewhat explain this. I'm trying to think of a way. I mean, which one are you talking about to start off with? Which generation are you talking about? The one before us or after us? You mean the one like that, like since like we were both like I'd say I to say nineties kids. Um, you mean like two thousand kids? Uh, not too much exactly, no, but, I mean, we're being exposed to a, a certain thing where kids, well, not, I didn't mean spoiled as in, like, uh, well, actually, some of them are spoiled, but, um, to where, like, you see seven-year-olds who are swearing. Oh, well, that's... And, like,
like that's just like, the culture. Yeah, I know. And then um, you'll see movies coming out with nine-year-olds asking to buy a condom. I'm not going to mention that movie because I am going to pretend it didn't exist. It's a terrible comedy. Wait, which one? I don't even want the kid. No, he didn't buy a condom. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see any of the movies. Well, I mean, it wasn't in the book. Well, then again, like we discussed on the last episode, movies do ruin the original oh. thing a lot. Well, most of the time, yes. There are a few exceptions. So, like, um, the parents on my street, uh, when I'm driving along on my little go-kart or something, or, uh, somebody drives by, they'll just kind of not really care, and they'll go right past them. They'll just, like, they're two feet away, down comes a kid on a bike. He's like, what the? And then, um, just in case there's a... Well, that's that's not really that's. Well, I know, partially... I know it's not spoiled, but like the parents don't do anything about it. I get what you're saying. It's more societal reasons for why we do things, um, and I don't think it's partially to blame on society. I think it's more the last generation when they had kids. Like uh, there are some great parents out there. I'm not denying that, but I mean like. There are some horrible ones that weren't just, they're not fit to be <laughs> legal. <laughs> they're not fit to be legal guardians. And um, I think that's also partially to blame because when parents who don't really care let their kids watch anything, their kids hear things like that. And a kid doesn't know better. A kid doesn't know it's wrong. He heard it. Why shouldn't he say it? And um, I think it's more just to blame on bad parenting more than just society. Yeah, that is also true. Man, these last episodes I've just gone on like intellectual rants. I still need to think what these uh, top rooms are going to be. I don't know if it's. I hope it's not boring to people. Well, I mean, no, it shouldn't be boring because, um, I mean, we actually have to think about stuff to talk to or else this episode would be really boring. While we, uh, play Minecraft. I remember when I used to think it was called Minecraft, but then I'm like, oh, Minecraft. <laughs> uh, when did you first get it? Right at the... Right before the point seven update. Uh, yeah, I got mine in the uh, alpha days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I played the free version up till then. Yeah, with uh, Black Jesus, that series. Black Superman, yep. Yeah. Did you take that off of your uh, YouTube channel, or is that still on there? That's still up. Wow, that was when I really had <laughs> a premature role. I don't know. I, I think it's under private. I don't think I ever like listed it to the public. Oh, okay. It was more. It was more of me in the early days trying to see what I could do with, with YouTube. But um, yeah, like if we ever like ever release DVDs, that might just be a, like a category called like the early days before we were Nerd World. We just like goofed. Or, if you don't know what we're talking about, back before. I think even Nerbral started, or it was just at its inception. Um, me and Duke used to. Uh, a video. Uh, no, yeah, it was but, before it started. So yeah, that was, was way. Yeah, and then, then like me and Duke, well, of course we've been friends since then. It's not just like we have a working relationship. Like I make videos yeah, with you. Uh, we've we're not. making videos, and then after we're done recording, 
Okay, um, I hate you, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've been, um, good friends for a number of years, and, um, we, we obviously Skype each other. We're not in the same room recording this. Um, um, and this was back before we made videos, and, um, we just toured servers, and I had, a f I had the free version, and Duke had the, uh, alpha, beta, bide one. And we would just go around servers, just looking at them, just seeing what we could do around there. And there was one really big server. I don't know if it's still around anymore. I don't know, but it, it's uh, it they someone had made a giant Superman, but he was black, and he had a hammer. A TNT, TNT hammer, yeah. 